Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to Emer Vlogs. So to get things going, I'm gonna do a quick little tarot reading. We'll get a little, ooh, jumping out already. We have Queen of Cups. I don't know what this means, but it looks good. So, a little bit of advice from the angels, from anyone watching. Cards. A couple months ago, I was kind of had a bit of like a pull, I think. And like a bit of a spiritual connection, whatever that means. I don't know. Well, I know exactly what it means, but. We have speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. King of air, folks. So that's what we're taking with us throughout this reading. Um, yeah, speak your truth, speak your honesty. And speaking of speaking about honesty, I'm gonna speak honestly about my mullet. I'm gonna give an honest review about that. So, little update. It's gone. Also, this is the best hat I've ever found. That. So it says, I'm so trashy, it scares me. I found it in a local shop for three euro. I'm like, why does this exist? It's so amazing. So my honest opinion about the mullet, it made me feel very good. I was really confident with it, more confident than I had been in a while. And I suppose it wasn't intentional. It was kind of a bit like, don't care what anyone thinks, you know, just kind of going for it. And I got a lot of compliments on it too. Um, I was working at a flower shop over the Christmas and people come in and like they'd say your hair is so cool I had like a builder stop me and he was like fair play to you and it was super cool in the beginning <laughs> well, and towards the end in my personal experience um I think my highlight was probably when I had the curls on top and the and it wasn't too much of a difference play the clip um but then I cut it too short and then it grew longer and it was just a real kind of disconnect. And the one thing about the mullet was that it looked really good in the mirror, but then the photos never really showed what I saw. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like a disconnect from reality. Or whatever. Um, but yeah. I don't know why it didn't look on the pictures, why it felt <laughs> how it looked in the mirror. Um, I think that mullets, um, if you're a girl considering whether to get a mullet, it's probably just a pit stop on the way to shaving your hair completely. Um, that's what it was for me, to be honest. <laughs> just kind of like tiptoeing, stepping into it. And a lot of people didn't like the mullet as well. Um, my sister Alicia hated it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I really have to kind of say about it. Uh, I've always wanted to like cut my hair so then I had a going away party for my mullet um, I'll show you what I did so I don't know I was like in the car and I just kind of decided it was time for the mullet to go so I threw a little mullet party just with my family because we're in a lockdown um, and what I did was I got like my dad to buy some snacks <laughs> and then I got my mom to cut it Are you sure? <laughs> Add some wine and cheese and crackers and I modeled my best mullet looks, um, which I really enjoyed. Cue the clips. Oh, for God's oh, I like sake. that. Um, so yeah. So now, that's it, really. I'm glad I did it. I think in life, everyone should probably have a mullet at some stage. Oh, what I was saying like 10 minutes ago. So for girls considering whether to get a mullet or not, um, <laughs> I already said this. <laughs> Just cut your hair off, but definitely do the mullet. I, it made me feel very confident in myself. 
Um, but then I remembered we'd have to go out into society. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. that's all I have to say. So today, um, so I like the length of my hair now. It also took it a while to get this short because I cut the mullet off, but um, I don't think anyone was prepared for the total buzz. And then it was just kind of looking too all over the place. So I was like, <laughs> it was pretty funny actually. <laughs> so when I shaved it, I shaved it far too short. I don't have the patience for these kind of things. Um, I didn't film it because I was very scared and it was like, I don't know, a bit personal or whatever. But I do have some panic clips that I can share with you. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Um, so then I shaved it and I'm very, I'm not a patient person. So it's just like, and I put it on the shortest setting to get rid of it as quickly as possible. And then it was just far too short. And then I panicked. So then I threw bleach in it, but then I was scared to put the bleach around my hairline. So I missed a bunch of it. So I came out of the shower and my hair was a completely different color. And it was just like a black line all around here. Still is. And <laughs> so I panic shaved it all. So now there's even more of a black line around here. So my little sister Mayu is gonna help me today to sort it out and maybe like try and get a little bit more bleached around the edges. And then I have a blonde dye that I'm gonna put in. So, okay, so I am here Hello. with my little sister Mayu. Hello. My little angel. Aw. How are you today? Oh, grand, thanks. Had a nice frappuccino with Emer. We sure did. That yeah. was the frappe I was drinking earlier. Yeah, we're loaded on, ca on caffeine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so if we're talking 100 miles an hour, yeah. you know why. <laughs> so, Mayu, Emer, tell me honestly, what did you think about the mullet? It was a very uh, adventurous endeavour. <laughs> I, myself, was a little bit shocked. Mm. I wasn't prepared to see my sister with a mullet. But no, I feel were. like it was a great way to take back control of the situation because we were in lockdown mm -hmm. so it gave her some sense of ownership over yeah. her own life because covid took it away you're s she's so clever oh. how old are you <laughs> oh i'm 16. she's 16 and she's speaking like that i can't oh, well. you're amazing oh thanks thanks mayu yeah so it was different but it was a good thing I'll take that. Was, thank you very much. It was different, much. but it was a good thing for you. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thank you. you. Yeah. And you've recently done your hair too, haven't you? I have. I um, I used to have a bit longer. So a couple of years ago, I had really long hair. It was like down to my waist. Then I gradually started cutting it shorter and shorter. Like myself. But it didn't look very good. So I went to the hairdresser about maybe last summer. And I got it chopped off up to like like a bob. And then it grew out again. And then it got it chopped off into mm. a bob again. And very recently, I got a fringe. So cute, and we put some red in it. We put red dye in it, yeah. First we did purple, and then we did red. So I really like the red. I'm not sure if you can see it in the light. Yeah. But it's um, it's a really nice, dark, like, burgundy red, and I'm really happy with it. So we've had very interesting hair experiences Yeah, we have, recently. yeah. The most going it's on the in lockdown. the Sullivan household in a long time. <laughs> it's the lockdown. So every lockdown, we're doing something new with exactly. our hair. Exactly. So yeah. Mayu's gonna help me sort out here today my hairline yes. yeah gonna help me we're working on her cute hairline we are indeed so do you want to grab the bleach over there of course we'll do a little unboxing for you okay <laughs> while i put are. coconut oil on my face okay total bleach salon standard bleach lightens hair up to seven levels for absolute platinum blonde platinum blonde doesn't look too platinum blonde to me but i had very dark hair so yeah. i wasn't expecting it to get that yeah. first try what are you gonna do after you bleach it are you gonna uh, dye it yeah i'm gonna put the blonde yeah. hair dye into it Nice. I'll see, like, kind of a pipe by ear because it's going to be a lot lighter. I hope my hair doesn't fall off. Yeah. You know, I think you're supposed to bleach it more than twice in a month. Yeah. But this is only my second time bleaching it this month. So I don't yeah. know if that's necessarily how I don't have Vaseline, so I'm just yeah. going to put coconut oil. I have Vaseline. Hairline. Do you have some Vaseline? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So I have this yeah. on me now. Yeah. Or will, I, will we tell them about when you first shaved off all your hair and bleached it? Um, I actually, yeah, I was just... mentioning that earlier. Oh, so I have all weird, the me, and, me and my sister were watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to play this clip afterwards. Me and my <laughs> sister were watching Soul together and um, we knew we were going to shave off all our hair. We weren't sure if she was going to bleach it or not. So I went up to check on her and she's like, oh, you can come in. And she was just, all her hair was shaved off and she had bleach in her hair. She's like, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh my goodness. And then Leisha went up. 
Here, what's happening? <laughs> right, so let's okay. get this going. Okay, do you want to unbox it? Yes. yes. Tell a little bleach. bleach. Salon standard. Yes, I ordered this on lookinggood.ie, I think it was. And how much was it? It was only like 10 euro. I think it was cheaper to get it there than it was in the shop. Okay. Oh, I need to get a container. Okay. 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 Are you going to get a champagne super toner or a lavender grey toner? I have a purple toner. You have a purple toner. Mm. Okay, cool. I actually okay. saw someone who left it in her hair for like two hours and kind of wound up purpley. It's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's go through all the stuff. Okay. Do you want me to hold do? it? Yeah. And there's gloves too if you want to put those on. Okay, cool. Do you want to do in your room? Are you doing it in room? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you can come across as aggressive. Well, we're back. So that was a little turbulent. Yeah. <laughs> But we're good now. We're here. My hair is definitely getting a lot wider. Yeah. You can see it's developing. Like it yeah, or it's been shady. And I hope she doesn't have chemical burns on her skin. Probably. Me too, because it feels like it. I'm not gonna <laughs> oh no, no. It's fine. Oh. Everything's fine. So. so as you can see, it's all applied evenly to her hair. There's definitely not any wet spots or anything. Absolutely. And I finally got my hairline. Yeah. So I put coconut oil around it. So I yeah. that worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll tune in again, and we'll see what it looks like in around half an hour or so. Yeah. Thanks see for helping then. me, Maya. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Hello, everyone. The hair <laughs> is here, ready to be revealed. She's Jack Frost. <laughs> so it's like, uh, ugh. It's a light Don't yellow. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, this is it. Flattering lighting for myself. So also heads up. So <laughs> so I mentioned in my first video that I used henna dye. So I use Lush henna dye and I've read a lot of reviews saying don't bleach your hair when you've used henna dye and this is why because this part because it just doesn't color evenly um I love the new hair coming in though that's super cool so I'm gonna use blonde over it that's really just this little patch that's a bit brassy yeah did you use the purple shampoo I did so I'm gonna use more and leave it in for a little bit longer because I only left it in for like two minutes so let's use it for like five or ten minutes but I'm super happy with it. So this yeah, is this great. Yeah. So, so it's a little bit. Uh, so again, don't use henna dye when you're gonna bleach your hair, or just wait, or think things through a little bit more. But I'm happy with it though. Yeah, that's real good. Nice work, Well done. Yeah. So I'm gonna put blonde in, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Woo! <laughs>